Time that we're going away. Been about time as a whole nother day. Put the heat on to the Tetons with the neon you can lean on. Never get beat on, beat on. Hey. But you don't even listen, huh? But you're not even wishing, huh? You just keep on fishing, huh? Wonder where we go, we don't even know, huh? Yeah, you hit me like a mega time. You hit me like a mega time. You hit me like a mega time. Watch out on a jumbo tron. Okay. 
advantage when you come from the bottom. You get perfect understanding. I go green. Always working with the planet. I mean everything green. Like I'm working with a lantern. Hello, Kermit. Hello, Percy. Oh, the hook is causing damage. Going crazy while you busting through the wall of propaganda. You got it. You got it. And I illustrate. Cause they blur the lines. Between real and fake. See, everything's fine. It's fine till you win the way. See, then you can huff and puff until you hyperventilate. Oh, how I'm fighting, punching, clawing, kicking, scratching for the cause. Feel the pressure, cause I gotta make it happen for us all. I know they think it's over, cause my back against the wall. But I love it, and I feel that's when I actually evolve. And I say, you don't have to, you don't have to panic. We are merely here to save the planet. Back in the flash, I built the time machine to hit him with the blast from the past. Yeah, I'm stepping fresh about my landing bar. I roam the universe with stars as my camouflage. Energy mass, precious metals, liquids, and gas. Multi cell organisms bearing symbols and flags. Searching for truth. That's when I found it deep within me. Gotta stay away from chemtrails and keep it eco friendly. Show as my garden grows, avoiding GMOs. Seeking solutions for problems, just let the people know. Stop piling rocket ships equipped with many elements. Be advised, all civilized cities and settlements. Operation Get It in Gear is finally here. Evil doers disappear when I'm near, like steer clear. It's a new dawn, new day, new everything. Broadcast alive from the eye of a hurricane. You don't have to, you don't have to panic. We are merely here to save the planet. We won't be complacent in this damage. This is vital information, take advantage. You don't have to, you don't have to panic. We are merely here to save the planet. We won't be complacent in this damage. This is vital information, take advantage. You don't have to, you don't have to panic. Merely here to save the planet. We won't be complacent in this damage. This is vital information. Take advantage. You don't have to panic. We gon' save the planet. There will be no damage. Come on, take advantage. Y'all love to do everything but the work Never learn, stop counting pockets Success is defined by what you do when no one's watching Too consumed with ownership for any other topic If addiction is genetic, you can say I got it honest And it's getting the best to me The wall's closing in, but I'm too numb to let my pride go Lord, take the wheel, here we drive slow Two miles an hour, get money in different time zones Dodge the potholes, they pitching underhand Look like we cooked the numbers down Make them tough, they sell me in Mike, never pun again Fourth and long, Hail Mary Y'all know who I'm betting on Really see the vision now Damn, why it take so long? Couldn't be led astray Savages that meditate Love me, look me in my face Starting, they can't simulate Gelato through the summer Before we switching lanes Bugs gone, now the streets will never be the same no. Only thing is, it's going up into the heavens. Mm. Like, they're, they're puppeteering you, but they're also protecting you and they're guiding you. You can feel it too, but it's like, nah, you, you protect it. <laughs> the good die young. Don't wanna be misdiagnosed, I cush my lungs. Who knew the last time be the last time singing those I love? From hoop dreams to a triple beam. Goals got hung, no, and not out the dry. Rebel music, we won't never comply. My brother got shit to heaven, he just wanted to fly. Enough tears and water, these flowers, I didn't know I could cry. Swimming upstream in this bottle, no lie. And it cost me a lot, up to my neck, I'm in debt. But I'ma shine in your honor, that's how I pay my respect. That's it, that's it, that's it. I said, cut it off. Cut it off.
hello everybody hello everybody hello welcome 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 i appreciate y'all tuning tuning in tonight i know this is a late show tonight um let me let me tell y'all something real quick before before i start the show now urban urban is really really frustrated right now the reason why urban is frustrated right now is because i've been having issues with logging on to youtube so the, the only two platforms that are streaming this live right now is on facebook and on twitter but for some strange reason i cannot stream on youtube right now i don't, I don't know what's going on i have no idea i don't know if this is in relation to what happened on facebook the other day but i cannot stream on youtube so it's kind of kind of frustrating me because I also wanted my um, audience on YouTube to um, be a part of the stream as well, but unfortunately they they won't be a part of the stream. You know, I don't know. Uh, I'll, hopefully, um, this will record, and I could just do this probably as a pre-recorded video, but we will see. We will see. Uh, nevertheless, I appreciate it on everyone um, tuning in today. I, I appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all rocking with me tonight. Now you now uh, I'm, I've been wanting to talk about this this topic for the longest, but I just kind of been putting it off because it'd be like more of the topics are being more quote unquote important than this. But I finally decided to get around to talking about this because this this does keep coming up over and over again. So I I want to want to just talk about I want to I want to address this um this issue right now. But first, but first, let, let me let me do this real quick. Since I can't stream on YouTube like I want to for whatever crazy reason, I'm gonna do this. So let let me see if I can stream on TikTok. Let y'all give me a second. Let me let me do my little hack it real quick, and I'm see if I can stream on TikTok as well. If I can stream on TikTok, then I'll I'll be satisfied with that. Give me a second. One moment. Try to fix this up real quick. <clears throat> now, if I'm able to stream on TikTok, that would be awesome. So, we can make this work. We're going to make this work. At least I, I get one good platform out of this. Am I popping again? Oh, is um match worth it? Views, views, marriage. Oh, goodness. Well, we just leave it as match worth it. I think that would be pretty good. We'll leave it like that. Well, I tell you, tell you, us content creator, we be going through it. 
we go through a lot to get our content together. All right, we're cool, cool. All right, and so what I'm gonna do for y'all, I'm gonna put it up here on the screen where y'all can see it. There we go. That way y'all can um, see me going live on TikTok as well. Move this around. At least we get some good out of this, out of this craziness. All right, cool. Let me go ahead and start it over here in TikTok universe and we just gonna make this work. <clears throat> All right. All right, this is good enough. All right. Now, well, once again, everybody, I appreciate y'all uh, y'all y'all tuning in tonight um, for for this uh, evening podcast, uh, and I also appreciate everyone who's uh, tuning in and, and watching me on TikTok as well for this um this late night podcast. the The title of uh, this um, particular um, stream or podcast is simple. Uh, we're gonna be talking about is match really uh, worth it in the modern day? Is uh, match uh, really uh, worth it in the uh, modern day? Now, now the reason why I, I want to go ahead and talk about this particular topic is because on uh, this topic it being uh, coming up over and over and over again, um, where I have some people come up to me, you know, they they could graduate, could graduate me on my uh, recent marriage uh, to my best friend. Now, let me give y'all another deeper perspective about this. All right, now. I, I had on um, I had married my um, best friend back in uh, April uh, this year, as a matter of fact. So the the reason why I married her is because I wanted to um continue to spend the the rest of my life with her. I not not see that everything that that we had together was was totally um compatible. It wasn't something that we were just trying to um, get together just to begin to getting together. Or anything like that, but I actually was um with her because I felt that they are that we're very compatible for each other. So so there so therefore that that's what wanted me to want uh, you know spend the rest of my life with her. You know, um it it didn't have nothing to do with any type of um uh, monetary value, and it had nothing to do with any type of one uh, gang or anything like that whatsoever. It just the whole point that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with my best friend that's the um, whole point of it all right so that's the, so that's the reason why um i want to uh, marry her so we, we we went through the whole process we you know we became married now as as we became married um of course a lot of a lot of people of course congratulate us and told us that you know have a great union all that good old stuff then of course uh not I got around to, you know, other people as well where they um as well where they um come in and say, Well, I don't think um marriage is a good idea, especially in this modern day. And this is the reason why we, we're gonna have this on topic today. Now, this topic today where I'm talking about is marriage worth it. I, w- I wanna ask y'all this question. Do y'all feel that marriage is worth it in the modern day? Do do y'all feel that way? Do do y'all feel that it's worth it or do y'all feel that being married is a mistake or trying to get married is a mistake um how, how do y'all feel about that once again i appreciate everyone who's watching me as well on tiktok um and on twitter as well too so once again let me let me ask y'all this um is being married worth it in the modern day is being married worth it in the modern day now i, I know that there been a uh, different Content creators that came out that they have a different perspective by, by marriage. Uh, one of which that I could think of right up, right off the back is on uh, Kevin Samuels. Um, I know that um, Kevin Samuels he been he been having his different perspective about marriage. 
um, especially with men. Um, a lot of a lot of men feel that when they get married, that it's not beneficial for them to be married. Uh, that that's how that's how a lot of modern day men feel is that marriage is not beneficial to them. They feel that the reason why marriage is not beneficial to them is because um, they don't get nothing out of being married. Uh, the one thing they, they really gain out of being married is what they're saying is that's an, another woman. And that's it. They they feel like they don't have no type of gain whatsoever in it. They feel like um, it's n nothing beneficial. Then especially if they be married and they're becoming divorced. Typically, when they, they they say typically when you become divorced, um, they say that the woman typically gain more when you become di divorced uh, because when, when you be divorced, uh, normally be 50, 50, 50 for everything. So let's say, for example, uh, no, a woman entered into the match with absolute nothing and she totally relying on her husband to uh, take care of her, right? So if, if she ended up becoming divorced, then what's going to happen is that she going to end up gaining at least 50% of his uh, assets that he gained um, while they're in, in a marriage. So this is one one reasons why one well, men men is arguing that it's not beneficial for for them to um be married because of, you know the the certain uh, um assets that they that they gain during marriage and prior before marriage and they feel like once when they gain that then then um they lose it. Now now so imagine imagine if if a, if a man um is just a normal modern day man. He's not a six figure guy. He's just an average, um, you know, average Joe who work a nine to five job. Imagine that that man who ended up getting married, then all of a sudden being divorced, then he have to split fifty percent of his his average income that that he normally bring bring in or whatever, whatever to his uh, divorcee wife. So, um, not. Also to factor well, also also to factor in if uh, y'all end up having children together too, which hence this bring forth the um the the argument about child support as well. You know what I'm saying? So this is another reason why um, men feel the way that they do. They feel that they end up losing a lot instead of gain, instead of either breaking even or gaining by being married. So these are the different things that that um, people preferably men um have brought up with me. They brought up these different different uh, topics to me um, as well about this. And they, they was asking me about my perspective. And they asked me how I feel about that. And they, was asked, and they asked me, you know, other questions and stuff as well, too. And so ultimately, they, they want to uh, find out, like, well, if you, if you know all this, if you know all this information, what's the whole point of being married? What's the whole point of uh, getting married? What's the whole point of being with that um um, being with you know the the woman that you marry you know for the rest of your life with the risk of the relationship you know you know becoming div divorced what's the whole point in it so my um my conclusion is this and this is just my personal opinion about this all right or my personal perspective about this all right my um uh, my perspective about this is that um the reason why I wanted to be married i want to be married with her is what i said in the beginning the reason why is because i wanted to spend the rest of my life with my best friend that's what i wanted to do i want to spend the rest of my life with my best friend it didn't have nothing to do with me trying to gain anything it didn't have anything to do with, you know whatever type of monetary value i bring or what type of monetary value she bring it didn't have nothing to do with any, any of that. All it had to do is that um, I wanted to spend the rest of my life with my best friend. Period. That's all it was. You know what I'm saying? Now, now, granted, uh, I'm not saying you know that I'm naive to the, the to the fact or the notion that um, that love sustains a relationship by itself, which obviously it doesn't. Love by itself doesn't sustain a relationship. There are other things as well. There's um, you know, communication that's involved with it. Of course, there are there's um, um, income bringing into the household that's involved with it. Where we can want to take care of each other. There are all these different uh, factors that that's um in it. You know what I'm saying? 
to take care of each other. So there is there's all these different things uh, that they're in it. So so we can want to take care of each other. So yes, uh, love by itself doesn't equate to that. Your marriage is going to sustain. It's going to be a happy marriage. You got to add in all these other different factors as well. I feel as a as a man, I feel and I know without a shadow of doubt that the one that the woman who I'm with right now, my wife. I know without a shadow of doubt that that she's she's the greatest thing that is into my life. Period. She's the greatest thing that ever came to my life. Period. Because of the different things that she personally personally provide for me. And when I say provide, I'm not just talking about monetary value. I'm not talking about just the physical, all right? I'm talking about emotional. I'm talking about spiritual connection. And that's what the value that she brings to me. That's the value that she's bringing to me is greater than all that. So yeah, if if I were to want to get if I if I were to have that mentality thinking that uh, I need to want to be be married to someone just so they can they can want um, bring some type of uh, other value to me, more likely yeah we'll we'll probably be divorced because our mentality is off on it. Hence, this is the reason why um, a lot of relationships, especially a lot of marriages, fail. Especially in the modern day. Now, once again, now I'm speaking from from my own personal perspective. I'm speaking uh, from my truth about this. Now, keep in mind there there are people who are who are out there. Uh, keep in mind there there are people who who are absolutely out there. Um, I honestly feel that um, they're not meant to be married. I honestly feel that there are certain people who are out there they're they're not meant to be married. I feel that there's certain people out there who are meant to honestly be single. But sometimes what ends up happening with that is that that one person who who's destined to be single end up hooking up with a person who wants or who desires to be married and they end up hooking up into a relationship and then that relationship end up failing because they're not compatible with each other. They simply become not comp- they're simply not compatible with each other at all. So I'm so I honestly um I honestly believe that the the best way for a marriage to work is first of all is the compatibility part. You you y'all both have to be connected to each other. Y'all have to be connected to each other physically. Y'all have to be connected to each other mentally and spiritually as well. That's where it started. Y'all have to be able to communicate to each other effectively. Y'all have to be patient with, with one another, especially if you're getting to know each other, if you're growing. Well, let me put it this way. If you're growing into each other, you have to be patient with one another. Because keep in mind is that you're you're spending the rest of your life with another human being, with a person who's totally opposite of you, a person who who thinks differently, a person who has a different um, worldview than you, who then been through situations differently from you, all these different areas. You have to keep in mind with that, and with that you have to find common ground and you have to find compatibility with them. That's the only way it's, it's going to work. That's the only way that marriage is going to work, especially in the modern day that we're dealing with right now. Now, I, I, I've been told that, uh, that, that um, the modern day marriage is different from the past marriage. Where, where you've seen in the past, a lot of um, married people like our grandmothers and grandfathers and stuff, they stay together. Um, yeah, they stay together and stuff, and but we don't see that as often in the modern day. To be honest with you, I I can get why why y'all say that. 
I could get that. But at the same time, that doesn't mean that even in the modern day that, that that's not possible because it's very much possible. Now, let me um let me share something with y'all too. It had took me. It had took me to first of all getting to know myself before I even step into the ideal of even trying to be in a relationship with a woman or even trying to be married. I had to step out and I had to get to know myself personally first. I had to get to know myself personally. I had to figure out everything about me. Y'all, y'all, y'all know the uh, the old saying where if you can't if you can't love yourself, then how in the world other people is going to love you? This is the same as that concept. Same as that concept where I had to figure out everything about myself. I had to figure out did, did I even love myself? Because if I didn't love myself, then how in the world would I be able to love someone else? So I had to go through that whole process of figuring that out. I have to figure out everything about me. I have to figure out the goodness about me. I have to figure out the badness about me. I have to figure out all these different things about me. So I can learn of me. Now this on um, this process that I did, it, it wasn't no um one month process. It wasn't no one week process. It took me years and years and years to get to know myself. And you you wanna know what? I discover a lot of stuff about myself. I discover a lot of things about myself that I knew without shadow that if, if I don't like it, I know good and well that other people would not like it as well. So I went through the process of changing them certain things that I didn't like about myself. I worked on them things. I see counseling about them things or therapy about them things. I worked on it. And I changed myself and I edified myself for me. Then from, from that point, that was the first step of me truly start to fall in love with me. Me truly understanding who I really am as a man, as a human being. As this individual who just trying to survive and live on this planet. That's what, what I had to do. So once when I took that time and figure out who I was and figure out myself, then that's what made me eligible to seek out what type of relationship that I wanted. What type of relationship that I desired. Now, I, I don't know if y'all want to believe in, um, in the universe or energy. But there's, there's something simple. Every positive energy is going to attract positive energy. Every negative energy is going to attract negative energy. It's always a cause and effect of things. Let me give y'all an example. Have, have y'all ever wondered why you keep attracting the same person or the same type of person into your life over and over and over again? And you just can't figure out why you just can't shake that. Why you, you just can't figure out why is this always happening? Why am I always attracting this person or this type of person? It's not only just because you're choosing, but it's also because of the energy that you put in out there. Now, if you put an energy out there that, um, say for example, uh, ladies, if you put an energy out there that you love them dudes who... Who uh, who's abusive, who's narcissistic, um, who do all these things negative towards you. Them the type of dudes that gonna come your way every single time. Them the type of dudes that's gonna appear in your DMs. Them the type of dudes that are gonna appear to you while you at the grocery store. Them gonna be the type of dudes where you pulling up at the drive through at McDonald's. Them gonna be the type of dudes that's gonna show up. 
But however, if you learn to change that energy, then you start attracting the type of energy that you desire. And this is the same concept that I had to do, that I had to learn. I had to learn to attract what I desire. In this particular case, I desire a great woman who is compatible with, with me. I don't, and also I didn't want her to be like me, to be exactly like me. I wanted her to be exactly opposite of me, have her own individuality, have her own way of thinking, but at the same time had this great positive energy about herself. She she wasn't into a, a relationship just to gain anything or just to be in a relationship or anything like that. I actually took the time out to actually put a list together of, the, of a certain type of woman that I desired. And put it out there. Then, then every young type of woman that didn't resemble that type of energy that I desired, I dismissed them. So likewise, in, in the same manner, any type of um, person that you desire, if that's what you desire, that's the type of one person that you're going to, you're going to attract or that's the type of energy you're going to attract. You're going to attract that type of one person, that type of energy towards you. So after when you figure that out and figure that, that part out, that is when you make yourself become eligible to be in a relationship. Check this out. Um, check this out. When um when you go out to seek for a job, right? There are certain qualifications that you must do in order for you to be hired. Am I correct? There are certain qualifications. You have to do certain things to make sure that you even qualify for the job that you're seeking for, right? You have to have basic stuff, and then you have to have more event stuff. The basic stuff is, for example, you got to know your name, know how to read and write, and know how to spell, know basic math, you know, different things like that, just basic stuff. Have to at least graduate from high school or GED. Or if you're a high school student, at least you were in high school. These basic qualifications that you needed. Now, the advanced stuff is dealing with your experience with the job. For example, uh, are you experiencing doing this type of job? So if this be true with you going out and seeking for a job to be qualified for a job, don't y'all think that this is also true when you go out into um, finding relationships, when you're going out vetting people in a relationship? Do y'all think this is true also? Because it's the same as that process, right? Where you go out and you do what is called... Um, courtship, courting, whatever you want to call it. You end up on um, meeting meeting each other. May go out on a date. But what do y'all think the whole purpose of a date is? The whole purpose of a date is nothing more but an interview. You are interviewing that person that could be a potential person that you want to spend the rest of your life with. Now, also keep in mind, keep in mind, I know in, in some, in other situations, people be interviewing each other just so they could hook up and have sex and stuff like that. I, I get that, but I'm not talking about that right now. I'm talking about purposely interviewing someone for the whole intent of want to be with that person, to spend the rest of your life with that person, to be compatible with that person. That's the whole point 
of dating. That's the whole point of courtship. That's the whole point of bedding that person. So what, what do you do? You start asking questions and stuff, uh, see if they have any similarities about you. And also you figure out there's certain things that are different from you as well. And you are analyzing and, and seeing that if uh, can these similarities and differences work out? I mean, am I lying about that? That once when once when uh, you figure that part out, you're either going to accept that person and go further with them, or you're going to have them move on. Same thing like a job. They're either going to interview you and they're going to either say, hey, you're hired. We're going to send you through orientation. Or they're going to say, hey, you're not hired. Uh, you're not what, what we're looking for. Same thing in a relationship. When you're doing your vetting process. You're either going to tell them, hey, you ain't what I'm looking for and, you know, it is what it is, or you're gonna say, "Hey, let's let's move forward with this. Let's let's move forward with this." Different men say this. They they say, "Hey, let's move forward with this, and let's see how it goes." So you end up moving, you end up moving forward with it. Just to see how it goes. So you go out on more dates to get to know each other more and more and more. And you building it up. You start building it up. Then eventually you start end up um, falling for each other, start really liking each other, you start finding these different things that you're compatible with each other about. Then it leads to y'all being into a committed relationship. Then eventually marriage. Why I'm talking about that too, uh, and I, I have mentioned this on, on one of my other um, shows that I did, but I'm going to mention it again. Now, many of y'all, y'all may disagree with me on this, but this is once again my personal truth about this, all right? The moment when you, when you and that woman or you and that man make a verbal agreement saying that you want to be in a committed relationship, do y'all know what that means? That means that you made a commitment to yourself and to, if you believe in God, you made a commi commitment to yourself and God that y'all are married. Do y'all know that? You made a verbal commitment to each other that you want to exclusively be with just that one person. That means that y'all are married. That, that doesn't mean that you sit there and be, be in a relationship until you feel like you, you can't be with that person more and you just exit out. No, that means that you're married. The only difference with that is that you made a verbal and spiritual connection together, but it's not legal. That's the only difference is that that is not legal. It's not legal according towards the law. Unless you start factoring them when, when they start talking about coming loud. And, but that's another discussion that's here and there. So that is the honest truth about that. That once we make that verbal agreement, Y'all were actually married. But 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 anyway, the, re the reason why I'm telling y'all all this is because this is the whole process that I had to went through. This is the whole process I went through with, with um, my wife. Where we went through this whole entire process. Because... I didn't want to waste her time and she didn't want to waste my time. So when we figured that out, when we figured out that um, we was um, compatible for, for each other, we made a verbal 
and spiritual agreement that we're going to be committed to each other. Thus, we became married. Now, later on down the line, uh, we end up be, be becoming legally married as, as well through the whole ceremony and stuff later on down the line. But when we made that commitment, we became married. We became married. So I'm, I want y'all to uh, just, just consider this too. Especially for for those who who um thinking that um marriage is not beneficial in in the modern day, once you consider this, is it possible for you and I'm talking about you who are listening right now, is it possible for you to go into your whole entire life without at least experiencing being totally committed to one person? at least sharing a experience with a person that you deeply care about, that you deeply love without a shadow of doubt, that you want to share an experience with them, that you want to share a lifetime with them, even if that lifetime is forever or even if that lifetime is short. But the whole point is that you want to share an experience with them. Now, my question to you is that, isn't, isn't that worth it? Is it at least worth it to at least experience that? Isn't it worth it? Versus the, uh, as they say, what if? Man, what what if? What if I did uh, decide to get married? But here it is, uh, the end of your life, and never decided to do it. Instead, you... You was too afraid to at least try and see. You was too afraid to at least go through the process. You was too afraid to at least go and start changing different patterns or different behavior that was preventing you from being married in the first place. You. So so I'm asking y'all, is, is, it, is it worth it not at least experiencing it? You know, um, at least one person in their lifetime at least wants to experience feeling the feeling of being wealthy or the feeling of being rich. And I guarantee that everyone who's uh, tuning in and listening right now, y'all feel the same exact way that you want to at least once in your life feel either wealthy or rich, have that feeling of it. And when, when you have that feeling of it, you, you feel happy, you feel content, you feel complete, you feel satisfied, you feel you feel like um you could conquer the world now. This is the same exact feeling when you actually become married to that that one person. That one person who you see and you vet it, and now you know without a shadow of a doubt that you're compatible with that person. You know without a shadow of a doubt that you want to spend the rest of your life with that person, or at least a lifetime, or at least however long it lasts. Because you want to have that that feeling, that sense of accomplishment, that sense of, how oh, man, I have arrived. That feeling of being rich and being wealthy. When you're married to the right person, you'll have that same feeling of feeling rich, feeling wealthy. You'll have that same exact experience. You know, um, for us a while now, man, there are, there, are, there are certain key moments in a man's life that a man feel absolute complete and i'm gonna share that with y'all there are certain key moments of a man's life where he feel 100 complete and i guarantee y'all agree with me on this the first moment 
of a life one when a man feels 100% complete is when, when a man actually make love to a, act, make love to a woman for the first time in his life. That's the first time. The second time that a man feel absolute complete is when he end up being married to a to a woman that he know without a shadow of doubt that he's supposed to be with her and this is his soulmate. The third thing that a man experience when he feels that he's absolute complete is when a man watch the watch the birth of his child. When he watched the birth of his child. And all three of these things is when a man experiences when he feel complete, when he feel accomplished. And this don't even have to, and notice I didn't mention nothing about financial gain. I didn't mention nothing about that. Financial gain or anything like that. Because, yeah, for his prior purposes, financial gain is good. But it's it don't give that full satisfaction versus the things that I just mentioned. It doesn't. Making love to a woman for the first time. Being married to an actual woman who wants to marry you. And you know that she's not going to do nothing to um hurt you or anything like that. And you feel such a deep connection for her. And then you watching the birth of your child or y'all child. Now, just like I say, tell, tell me if I'm wrong about that. Tell me if I'm wrong. Because the reason why I know I'm right is because these are the moments that I have experienced as being a man. I experience these things as being a man. So therefore, once again, I, I ask y'all, is it is it not worth it to at least experience that moment? At least to be in that moment. At least to experience the moment of feeling complete. Is it not worth it? Now, ladies, I'm, I know right now, and I'm I, I switching it over. I'm talking about the the men right now. But likewise, this is it's pretty much the same with y'all too. Now, before before I end in this uh, this live, I'm, I want to I want to give give y'all encouragement too. I'm first of all. I don't want y'all to just go and try to marry any old person just because you want to be married. That's the reason why the modern day is in the predicament we are right now with the high divorce rates, especially with women who the one who filing for the divorce because they just find any old person that they're married and it's not working out because you didn't vet that person. You just want to be married. I'm not talking about that. What I'm talking about it was both parties who actually went through the full process of vetting each other and vetting yourself to see if you even qualify for being married. If you're not qualified for being married, don't go out there and waste people's time who are qualified. Don't even waste their time. Because there are other candidates who who's unqualified. Who could fill the position? Because the position of being a husband and a wife is an important position. And if you're not qualified for that position, don't try to jump into it. That's like that's like you trying to apply to be a police officer, knowing that you're a social worker. 
and you only have the skills for a social worker. If you don't have the skills, as I say, the skills to pay the bills, then don't do it. Don't waste time. Just don't do it. Figure yourself out first. Vet yourself out first. Build yourself up. Build yourself up. So, yo, so once again, I'm not telling y'all just to do that, just to find any old person, just be, you know, get married to them. No, don't do that. But what I'm encouraging y'all to do is to look beyond this current social norm about marriage. Look beyond this social norm about marriage saying that marriage isn't, isn't worth it, especially for men. Because, men, it is worth it for you. Ladies, being married is worth it for you as well. But it's not worth it so you can just gain something out of it. For its monetary value or anything like that. It ain't worth that. Some of y'all even try to want to just get married just so you can get a kid out of it. But it's something greater than that. Trust me, I know. When you be when you become married to that person who you you're destined to be married with, it is different. From anything that you have ever experienced is different from any type of relationship that you ever been in. It is different. I'm telling y'all it's different. It is rare because a lot of people don't see it because a lot of people is doing probably well what y'all thinking about doing right now. And that's what y'all see. Especially since we got things like social media stuff out here and that's all that they show on social media majority of the time. Or... It's because you have set your algorithm on your social media platforms to show what you want to see. Could be either or. But I want to encourage y'all that being married, it is worth it when you're married to the right person. It really is. Now y'all probably probably saying uh, well well on uh, urban, um, isn't marriage hard? Isn't it hard work? Yeah. There's nothing in life that isn't work. To hell you get up and go to work, cause it's work. Even work is work. So, yes, there are going to be times where it's going to be difficult. But check this out, too. There will be times, as long as you're doing what you're supposed to do, it's going to be times where it is absolutely great. Same thing with your job. There are times you go to work, you're like, man, I love working. Then there'll be another time, like, oh, my God, I don't feel like dealing with this today. Ooh, I wish I could just go home. I wish I don't feel like being bothered. It's like that in being married, too. Just being honest with you, it's, it's like that. The reason why it's like that, because at the end of the day, we are human. We are human, and we all grow weary of each other. Not because, you know, we're just some evil people or anything like that. It is because we're human. They're just all what it is. So, yeah, I want to encourage y'all that. If if you're not married, if you're not married, don't let the reason why you're not married is because you're seeing what people saying out there on social media giving you all these horror stories about that. Don't let that discourage you. 
But if you actually are married, continue to build on that foundation of your marriage. Because it had to be a reason why you decide to be committed to that person. Hopefully it's for the right reasons. But if it is, if it is for the right reasons, continue to build on it. Continue to do things that, that you always been doing to stay together. And the most important part is to always, always co continue to communicate with one another. Because that is your foundation. See, some people, they'll say that love is your foundation. Other people will say that religion or God is your foundation. But I bet the difference. With the hour that your greatest foundation is communication. That's your greatest foundation. Because without it, it ain't going to even matter. It don't even matter if you believe in God or not. If you're not communicating with each other, it's not going to work. It's impossible. That's like you showing up for work and your supervisor do not give you no type of communication about what's going to happen. And you're trying to figure it out. And then you, you get frustrated because you don't know what to do. And then here come that same supervisor fussing at you because you didn't do what you're supposed to do because you... He never, he or she never communicated it. So yeah, it's a, it's like that in the same dy dynamics in the marriage. If there's no communication, absolutely that fine that shit is going to be destroyed. It's going to break. Absolutely it is. Absolutely that foundation is going to break. So yeah. Communication is the key. And let me put it out this way. Not just communicate, but effective communication is the key. Because some of us, we're not even taught how to communicate towards each other. So learning how to communicate towards each other is the key. Respectfully. So 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 that that is it, y'all. That's 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 all I'm gonna talk about about this topic on. I'm mean, I hope that the things that I share with y'all um it it will help y'all out and it also give you give you a different perspective about why I personally feel that um that marriage is worth it when when you're with the right person. I feel one hundred percent that is worth it. I do. So I appreciate y'all, y'all, y'all tuning in. Uh, once again, I appreciate everyone um, who's tuning in, watching me on on Facebook and Twitter, and I also appreciate you as well who are watching, uh, watching me on TikTok as well. Uh, I appreciate y'all, y'all tuning in as well. Now, for us, my one TikTok fans, um, yes, uh, and, I, and I do have uh, other social media platforms. I am on Facebook, I am on YouTube, and I'm on um, Instagram, um, all that. On the platforms, I'm on that platform. So you can also go follow me on on the pl platforms as well, and also you know everybody else who who watch me on Facebook and Twitter. I appreciate y'all tuning in. Y'all already know because y'all y'all see the the little um banner here saying all my platforms that I'm on and stuff. So I appreciate y'all uh, tuning in today. Please, please, please uh, share this video. Uh, even if you watch me on TikTok, please uh, share this video because I feel that this. This is a, um, a message that, that people need to want here in these um, modern day times because people, at the end of the day, they need hope out here. There's so much that's going on out here. People need a person like me who, who's out here speaking hope towards each other. So once again, I appreciate y'all tuning in. Um, like I always, y'all, y'all continue to fight fate with faith. And I will see y'all next time. And hopefully my my um YouTube will be working then while I have my YouTube subscribe, subscribers on as well. But we'll we'll see. But I appreciate that. Um and like always, y'all continue to fight faith with faith, and I will see y'all again. <laughs>